Can I tell you a story about another little boy? Um, okay. When I was your age, I grew up in London when the Blitz had just ended. Good God, how old are you? Our neighbourhood was reduced to rubble. And in the chaos, I searched desperately for my parents. Mum! Mum! Mother! Mother! Mum! Mummy! 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 Mum! Mother! Don't. Don't what? You know what. Wow, feels real good to be a veteran. Even better than buying a bottle of Newman's Own. This makes me a good person. Hey, someone just bought a bottle of bland salad dressing. Now we can use all proceeds to do jihad stuff. Okay, I'm back. Ready to invest? Why are you still wearing that unitard? Can't get it off because my hog's too big. Well, here, let me help you get it off. No, 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 no. I pooped. I pooped. Dad, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. Well, I'm not going. I'm staying here and smoking dope. What? No son of mine is going to be smoking dope. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your three martini lunch? What? No son of mine is going to be drinking a three martini lunch. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your five scotch breakfast? What? No son of mine is going to be drinking a five scotch breakfast. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your three X's drawn on the jug corn whiskey moonshine? What? No son of mine drink anything but rice wine. That's right. We trace our early family roots to Asia. You see, right there, this device is a perfect example of how we continue to become more inept due to our dependency upon machines. There was a time, not too long ago, when people would talk to each other. Yeah, the bad times, the sucky ages. Our society is doomed. People and technology are a bad match, just like moms and Radiohead. Oh, no. No, no, this isn't music. No, I don't like this, David. No, that's enough. No, David, I don't like that. No. Hold it right there, Professor Moriarty. Sherlock Holmes, how did you know it was me? When I see a man about to go on a sea voyage and not wearing a top coat with no watch fob and whose spats are not fully buttoned... And the jewels hanging out of my hat? Yeah, and the jewels hanging out of your hat. <coughs> He's got a gun! Look out, Stu... Holmes! God, this is gonna be so annoying. Watson, the scepter! <coughs> ah, lucky shot! There was no luck involved. From the angle you were aiming the gun, I extrapolated the path of the bullet and triangulated the deflection point. Uh, is this, is this speech for me? Because he's dead. You idiot! You shut down the entire internet! How could you do that? This is the most irresponsible thing that Although I was incensed by this man, I had to admire his courage for leaving his penis out the entire time I was yelling at him. As a man who struggles with body dysmorphia, I couldn't help but be impressed by that kind of self-confidence. As I stood there being berated by this man, I couldn't help but notice his searching gaze. Years later, we would bump into each other at a small cafe in Rome and reminisce about this moment. And later still, recreate it in a small bed and breakfast at the bottom of the Spanish steps. But that's a story for another time. Or, as they say in Italian, molto homo. All right, everyone, it's time to open up our bank statements. Let's gather around for prayer. Hey, God, it's the Griffins. Again, we're very sorry we cyberbullied that girl to death, but we still want a snowmobile. Today, though, please let there be money in our bank account. Amen. Amen. What was that, Rupert? Oh, yes. Yes. No. I don't know, maybe? Maybe buy? That's ludicrous. That's not Tyrese. What are you talking about? They look nothing alike. Ludicrous looks like a human peanut, and Tyrese looks slick. He looks like a Chinese black. Like Africa and Asia had sex while Europe sat on a chair in the corner of the hotel room and watched. 
Ludicrous Human Peanut, Tyrese Chinese Black. Are you gonna keep talking like this during the whole thing? What? I'm answering Rupert's questions. Now we're gonna have to rewind. We just missed the scene where half the team steals a tank while the other half pretends to be a DJ for some reason. Damn it! Yeah, okay, I'm going to the bar. Suit yourself! Rupert and I are just fine without you! <laughs> yeah, you're right. I bet he is on his period. Whatever that means. No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! Gross, gross, gross! Ew, ew, ew. No, 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 no! All right, everyone. Because today is Christmas Eve... <laughs> not yet, Griffin. I thought it might be a nice tree to... Griffin! Thank you. To let everyone leave a little bit early. Christmas! Fine. Everybody have a nice holiday. Teach. Reservation? Yeah, I decided we're going someplace nice this time. Not like last year when we went to the Outback Steakhouse. But it's out, as in the gay way. We'll get to the specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! Peter, please! He's our waiter! He's the only waiter we have! Lois, our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he just needs a little time. Scott, I'm finally ready to hear the specials. Hi, this is Vin Diesel. Welcome to the DVD menu. Oh boy, you're hungover. How are you going to do nothing today? God! Rupert? No! Rupert! Rupert! Hi, this is Vin Diesel. Oh man, did your friend kill your other friend? That's betrayal. That's not strong. Danny Trejo is strong. Uh, come on guys, this is getting embarrassing. I see the tissue box is empty. Somebody was going through those like, well, tissues. <laughs> I hope he didn't get cancer all over this seat. Ugh, yuck, bad luck. Yes, just look at our great city bustling with activity. Even the chimney sweeps are hard at work. It's all dirty in here. I don't care, keep going. Shouldn't I wear some sort of protective suit? Why, don't you trust me? I do, but our friend Bartholomew went in lots of chimneys in the 80s, and now he's sick. This is Peter, breadwinner and head of household. Lois is the name of his wife. These are their children. This is Chris, the firstborn son. This is little Stewie. Oh boy, he's a handful. Meg. And introducing Doodles Weaver as Brian the dog. We don't trust just any cigarette for our children. Raleigh Kids is the only cigarette made for tiny hands. It's why it's the playground favorite. Right, kids? <laughs> My hand! I mean, your hand! It's mine! Yes! Stewie, I think it worked. We did it! We switched bodies! Wow, this is really weird. It feels like... Hey! What the hell have you been complaining about? Hey, Peter, who are these guys? Oh, this is just my looping gif of black teens reacting to a very mild burn. Huh, sounds kind of pointless. Oh, you mean like your feet? <gasps> on Family Guy. Certain of his own wit and intellect, Brian opened up a Twitter account. If you ask me, Twitter is the perfect place for that guy, because he's a twit. But an off-color tweet suddenly made Brian a pariah to all of Quahog, forcing the family to make the difficult choice of sending him to a crappy apartment on the other side of town. Brian, the family has spoken. You know, you're the only man in America who looks good in sandals and cargo shorts. Good luck, everyone. I'll miss you. Oh, something's coming! Thanks, Grandpa. This Christmas is perfect, isn't it, Mom? Almost, Meg. Almost. Yeah, it is. Except every time Grandpa bends over to get a present, his robe opens up. Let's see, I think this is for Chris. Good God! 
Looks like two eggs in an old handkerchief. Chris, you gotta snap out of this. I mean, I've been where you're at. Listen, I've never told anyone this, but I killed a jaywalker in 2002. She looked old, but she was only 51. I mean, back then, that was old to me. It's why I always talk and ask questions so much. When there's any moment of quiet, I think about her. That's why all mothers do that. Every mother has killed someone. Now drink your ginger ale. This isn't going to make me forgive you, you know. That's fine. I'm going to say uncomplimentary things about your ass the whole way. Go ahead. You know, maybe it's appropriate that you're my ride-up. Rupert always called you my bitch. Want to know some of the other things he called you? Fat Lassie. Scooby Don't. Rin Tin Twink. Poopy Snoopy. Mama Dookie. Clifford the Big Red Sphincter that we see all the time because you don't put your tail down. Snoop Doggy Dick. Would you like a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea. It's hot already? Yes, it's an electric kettle. We don't have that at our house. My mother boils water in an old Jiffy Pop tin. She's just a useless old slut. Constance had the tickets for our honeymoon to Paris. No doubt she'll be using those for her escape. Very well, then we're off to France. That's right, we're off to Gay Paris. What's this now? Gay Paris. Some, some people call it Gay Paris. Oh, then I suppose I should change. Let's get separate rooms just so we can spread our stuff out. Can we get a television set? Sorry, Chris. We don't got the money. I spent our entire savings building that stupid fallout shelter we never get to use. Why don't you just buy a TV for the weekend, watch Elvis, <laughs> and then return it on Monday and say it doesn't work? Boy, even in the 50s, you're a scumbag. What's wrong, honey? Well, it's a long story, but I was really hoping to come home with a job and a girlfriend today. I could be your girlfriend and give you a job. Really? This day is starting to look up? Follow me into the men's room. Is this... is this dating? Is this how dating works? <laughs> You're cute. I like you. Help! She's trying to eat me! Get back here! You owe me a hundred dollars! Anton! We got a runner! You better pay my wife, bitch! Go, go, Brian Doglegs! Run, 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 run. How are we gonna get back to the airport? There's no internet, which means there's no GPS, which means we can't use Uber. Okay, I have a crazy idea. Let's get a cab. There's a taxi stand. Dead. 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 Barely alive. To the airport! Oh, you are a writer? Are you famous? By choice, no. No, sometimes fame brings a lot of unwanted attention. I mean, look at William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare! Hi. Nice collar, you fruit. Thank ye. Hey, Shakespeare, what's the title of your next play? You should call it Homosexual Collar Guy. Ah, by japes and jabs, cut me to the quick, squire. What does that even mean? I know. It means I use this collar as a bib for when I service guys. Thank ye. Thank ye. So, how'd you like the collar? Tis not for me. Oh, that must be Jerome. What the hell's Jerome doing here? We didn't order any drinks. No, he and I got plans. We're gonna go down to Carver High School and look at that mural of black achievement. Hmm, they got a manila folder taped over Dr. Cosby's face. What? Cleveland, you didn't tell us you had plans with Jerome. Some things are my business. You don't tell me when you play with yourself. Well, if you checked my Twitter feed, I wouldn't have to. God, I like it here. But what am I doing? I don't have a fancy house. I'm living a lie, like FDR. And so I say to you, America, we are going to win this war. We're going to end this depression. And there's no reason to suspect that I cannot walk. God bless America. And cut! The newsreel's over. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome, gentlemen. Now, if you'd kindly kick me into the closet with the mops. Ah, must be a yell man. Shut up. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. 
I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. <gasps> I've been touched by greatness. I am never washing this hand again. This is the best thing to happen to me since I became a wise-cracking, fourth-wall-breaking superhero. Call me Red Stool. The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just call me anus of the morning. Anus. Just touch my cheek before you leave me. Anus. This violence juxtaposed to music. Anus. Decapitation is... These threads are from a Scotsman's plaid kilt. The telltale locks of red hair. But most significantly, the Scottish brute replaced his victim's intestines with bagpipes. <coughs> Want to give it a whirl? gonna do we're way outgunned are any of you familiar with what's referred to as a leroy jenkins well i don't know what that is but let's make a very long elaborate plan all right so i'll run in first and use an intimidating shout when my shout's done i'll need joe to come in and use his shout too what do you think joe can you give me a number crunch real quick yeah give me a sec i'm coming up with uh, 32.33 repeating of course okay that's a lot better than we usually do so let's leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Let's go! Stick to the plan! Let's go! Let's go! Oh man! Oh, we're dying! Damn it, Cleveland! Where'd they get dragons? These guys have magic, guys! Can't move! Oh god! You know, Cleveland, you're an idiot! This episode has a lot of internet things. This new hat looks pretty sharp. I bet it does. Shall I alert you when DickCaps.com is having another sale? Sure, I'll get that pre-frayed visor. I, um... I like you, Brandy. I like you, too. That's weird. You're on a weird date. Peter, what are you doing here? Pulling the popcorn bucket trick on myself. I still can't find it. This is humbling. All right, guys, I gotta come up with some social media ideas for the brewery. What do you got? Oh, you went viral? You asked the right guy. You remember Leroy Jenkins. Yeah? Right. What do you mean, right? Yeah, you know, Leroy Jenkins. What about him? Do that. Joe, you can't... That already happened. Do it again. This time with beer. Hang on a sec. My leg is broken! Only thing I can possibly do is lick it repeatedly. There we go, that's fixing it. For 60 years, Sunday has meant God, football, and Family Guy. And later, to a lesser degree, The Simpsons. Premiering in 1952 as a recurring sketch in the popular Dow Chemical Follies, Family Guy has survived 19 cancellations, two assassination attempts, and a pretty good ribbon by those South Park guys. Well, tonight we take a look back at classic episodes from our first three decades. Oh, here come some tourists. I know, I'll sit here and pretend I'm a wax figure. Who is that? That's the fat idiot from The Family Guy. Ugh, I hate that show. Me too. Huh, samurai or geishas? Which one am I? I'll just wait till somebody else goes in. Well, that wasn't helpful. Vladimir Putin? Da, where is bathroom? I George Brett myself on plane. Gross. You can Google that during the commercial. What the hell is that? My booberry hand. 
I swore I'd never wash it again, even though Lois keeps telling me to. You should listen to her. Yeah, Peter, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah? Take that. <laughs> ah! Hey, that started happening yesterday. To the bathroom! We gotta get him to wash that hand. Yeah, I'll text Lois, see if we can all come up with something. Just reply to that last gift she sent of the sloth putting on the headphones. Oh, <laughs> I love that one. Is it weird that we're in a group text with our friend's wife, but not our friend? No, what's weird is that your bitmoji can walk. I'm allowed to have legs in the phone world. This isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. The accent is nothing more than an affectation. A coat of armor to get me through the day. Just an image I cultivated so I could feel special. <sighs> wow. What a relief. For once, to talk with my real voice without the, the burden of trying to sound like someone I'm not. What do you mean by that? Well, this is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. How about now? You freaking hear that? What about now? Sound different? Giggity? What about now? Coming up now, this voice. Ahoy, it's me. And I'm a gay alien. I'm sorry, that just all sounds like the same person. It's cutting-edge technology, Watson! Exchange money for sexual services, Governor. Are you a Bobby? You have to tell me. Mind the gap. Astounding. Yes. Now, I'll stroll around the block, and you'll proposition me loud enough so the killer can hear. Love for sale. Appetizing young love for sale. Love that's fresh and still unspoiled. Love that's only slightly soiled. Love for sale. Looking good, honey. No blacks. Love for sale. Race contingent love for sale. What are you up to? Are you kidding? I've been looking at stocks all morning. I'm already up 5% on the day. Wow, good for you. You're really taking to this. I wish I'd brought you in on this earlier. Together, we're going to make a fortune. Well, hold on, Stewie. I'm not some run-of-the-mill Wall Street scumbag only in this for the profits. For every dollar I make, one goes to me and one goes to charity. I'm going to rent a Ferrari and cruise the pier. You want in? Well, cancer's not going anywhere. I'm sorry, Billy. You're one dollar short of being able to afford the surgery you need. Yay! Sweet. I know those guys. Yeah, we'll have a round of beers for the table. Yep, we got her too. Brian, you've got to help me. Lois signed us up for some perverse PP-related class on the female orgasm. She's crazed. Wow. You've got to get here with the machine so I can fix it. Right, so I can take your place in Peter's body. No, bring everybody. We've got to get things back to normal. And hurry, she's all revved up. <laughs> 45 minutes to Weekapog. If we hurry, we can get there before Stewie's scarred for life. Brian, it's only 10.30 a.m. Why does my body crave alcohol? That's perfectly normal for this time of day. I'm sweating and shaking and planning out lies. Yeah, well, why do I have the overwhelming urge to eat Cheetos and masturbate in the woods? Well, because it's 10.30 a.m. Brian, I've got great news. We're going for a ride in the car? No, our portfolio's up 30%. In fact, we're so successful now, we have to make one of those sappy investment commercials. Thanks to my investments, I've watched my money grow. And my little girl. Dad, thanks for making my big day possible. Don't thank me. Thank Fidelity. Okay, I'm ready to marry you now. Wait, what? No, I'm your dad. Yes, you are. This is what's happening. Fidelity. We're there for you when your baby marries his dog dad. I only push Tyler down the stairs because I like him and I'm afraid he won't like me back. And, and not like him, like him. I'm not gay. This whole thing isn't because I'm gay, so, so calm down. I can already see you licking your chops. I'm sure you live for the coming out sessions. If anything, I'm less gay than I used to be. Not that anybody at this school would care. But do I think that Grant, Gustin and I would make the most adorable Instagram couple? Yes, yes, we would. Grant Gustin plays the Flash on the CW, if you were wondering, because, you know, most people over 70 probably don't know who he is. Think young Anthony Perkins. Ah, 
Oh. There we go. So what? I'm not leaving you either. Oh, really? Brian, let's be honest. You're a middle-aged dog. You don't have that many years left. And one day, all too soon, I'm going to be crying at your funeral in an Armani suit. And people are going to be like, oh, nice suit. And I'm going to be like, why are you talking about my awesome $2,000 suit? My friend's dead. Feels like that story is less about me and more about your suit. Excuse me, sir. What's the next stop for this train? Ugh, I hate when they let the infirm ride on the train. Next stop! Station. Sir, you owe an apology to me and all the good people of... It's nice of the locals to act as their own train crossings. Excuse me, gentlemen, you're under arrest. What? Why? You three are in violation of the Stolen Valor Act, which makes it a crime to pretend to be a veteran. Oh, so suddenly it's a crime to break the law? Mr. Quagmire, you're free to go, but the rest of you will have to come with me. I thought we had it bad being gay overhead bins. What makes us gay? We've got bags in our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Brian, you've turned into a monster. Hey, that's offensive to the monster community. Yeah, some of us are nice. Yeah, real nice. Weren't you charged with sexually abusing a 16-year-old? Elmo's accuser recanted and admitted the relationship was consensual. Yeah, but wasn't there another case that was only thrown out because the statute of limitations had expired? Elmo, no comment. Cookie! Oh, he wants a cookie. Oh, I love the Muppets. Chris, I see in the paper that Vietnam is still going on, and as a blue-collar TV dad, I demand you enlist. Peter, you can't send Chris to Vietnam. They're bombing women and children. You have no idea how bad it is over there. I don't. Oh, I know war, my friend. I stormed the beaches at Normandy. Ah! Of course, it was 1958, so the resistance wasn't quite as stiff. No running! I said no running! I'm not running! Stewie? Brian, where the hell are you? Lois just asked me if I want to see her kid's first apartment. What does that mean, Brian? I'm so frightened and confused. We've got much bigger problems. We hit a telephone pole, the machine activated, and it swapped everybody in town. Good God! We've got to fix this! Peter, I'm gonna open the door with no hands. <coughs> Assembled congregants, no worries to you. And also to you. Let us tweet. Peter, why is he naked in there? It's an environmental statement. Lois, please stop looking at my dead friend's dong. Listen, I made breakfast and drove, so if there's a dead dong, I'm gonna look at it. I can see you're a little nervous, Peter, but I'm telling you, it is easier than you think. Watch. You know, just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes, holy sh Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, what, what, just, there's almost nothing left of him! And I just know I'm gonna be the one to have to identify the body. That's him. Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, these two poor souls are the best combination for a rainy Saturday. Is this the stuff you didn't want me to ask you about? I told you not to ask me about that. He went rogue and saved everyone's lives. But he didn't do it by the book. Is that why he can't get an erection? Everyone stop talking about me! Listen, it's not me that's asking. It's America. Tell America my answer is no. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go change my mind in the shower. Peter's country needs him, but he just doesn't know. He's scared he'll miss his shows, and he's expecting a UPS package. Who's gonna water his plants? He's got a lot of balls in the air, that's for sure. Ready for turkey day? <laughs> Clever. Don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I won't. Now, if only the meal would cook itself, huh? Happy Turkey Day, Quahog. This is Tom Tucker and Joyce Kinney live at the parade. We've got some on and off drizzle here today, and we're a little wet, as you can see, because apparently there are no awnings that exist anywhere. 
There's your top news story right there. Mysterious awning shortage ravages the Northeast, but miraculously has not affected channels two or six. Can't believe you invited the whole family. You know I hate big Thanksgivings. Don't worry, Peter. It's gonna be fun, and I can handle most of the prep myself. I just need you to go to the market and get some extra napkins. That's not so bad. Oh, pick up some wine for the adults. I can do that. A and put the extra leaf in the dining room table. And here comes the Rocky and Bullwinkle float, always a popular sight here at the... Does somebody want to handle that? Does, some, does, somebody, does somebody want to deal with that? The car alarm would. You're kidding. Well, viewers, to top it off, that's the Channel 5 news van you're hearing. That table ain't been opened in five years. It'll be fine. Just don't drink while you do it. And for God's sake, don't lose your temper with Chris. All right. One, two, three. Yep. <laughs> One more time. Yep. Okay, all right, bend the knees. Let's give it a good pull. Yep. Yeah, I think one side is stuck. Do you, son? F Phil, Phil, just open it. Unlock the doors. You don't have to put the key in the ignition. Well, open the driver's side first. Okay, well, I guess it's broken then, and there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, happy Thanksgiving, Quahog. Here's a car alarm. <sighs> all right, well, I guess we'll just... Ah, there we go. Okay, on three. One, two... Three. I think it's still stuck. Oh, is that right? A lot of narration. It's like opening a table with Ken Burns. What the hell? Mom! Mom, it's me! Mom! Oh, yeah, it's a baby. It's a big balloon baby, just like you're a baby. No, it's me! It's a balloon of me! Peter, come look at this. He sees a baby and knows that he's also a baby. So smart. Mama's smart little boy. Why don't you go easy on that stuff? This stuff is the only thing stopping you from getting so karate chopped right now. Okay, big pull on three. All right, one, two, three. Yep. It's this one side. It's just stuck. I know it's stuck! Everyone sees it's stuck. Are there voices you're hearing shouting it's not stuck? Because if you hear any argument from anybody who says it isn't stuck, you send them to me and I will so karate chop them in the face. Live from New York City, it's the JCPenney Thanksgiving Day Parade. The JCPenney Parade? Yeah, it's like the Macy's Parade, only without licensed characters. With the popular balloons we all know and love, Mickey Rabbit, Sponge Cow, and Clifton, the small blue dog. Oh, I'm not sure that that's what. Gonna... What are you sure about? Yep. 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 Hey, Chris. Table looks stuck. Oh, really? Sky blue says Star Witness. Let me show you something that's funny. Okay, here's an impression of John Wayne on the first Thanksgiving. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. <laughs> Where's this guy been? Peter, we've got a house full of people coming, and they're expecting a turkey. Well, if they're expecting a turkey, I'll just put on Evan Almighty for them. Zap! You and Brian better get another turkey right now, and don't bother coming back until you do. Uh, well, Mr. Griffin, this has been uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, but uh, we got to get back over to our place mm -hmm. and uh, kind of uh, do it. Uh, uh, what do we have to do? Roll some joints and get high. Yeah, we got to do those things. That's not funny. Drugs aren't funny. They ruin lives. Amen. No, Peter, you're not funny. I'm afraid Dan's right. You're not funny at all. I don't get it. You're painfully unfunny. Get the f out of my house! And those two bums turned to me and said, You're not funny, Peter, in my own house. Well, what was the bit? Okay, ready? I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. <laughs> Oh my, oh, my. oh, my God, Peter. Yeah, I'll tell you, and I'm your friend, and I'll be honest with you, that's funny. That is funny. And you know what I appreciate about your joke, Peter? It's clean. It's clean funny. Crap, looks like they're completely sold out. Yeah, sorry. We just sold our last turkey to that guy. You are the turkey I have chosen to pardon. Fly free, turkey. <laughs> Moving it forward. He's moving it forward. See, Peter? Now tap Peter. Hey, Pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. It's me, John Wayne. Who's in the pharmacy? John Wayne. What the? Peter, you're not supposed to be in the audience. Get the hell up on stage. All right. Hey there, sir. Welcome to my pharmacy. Can I help you? Here's John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. <laughs>
Hey, you don't sell turkeys here, do you? We've been to every grocery store in town with no luck. No, the only thing we really sell here are these little packets of weird vitamins that vaguely suggest they help you in the bedroom. Performance and stamina for men. I know what that means. Look who's here! Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. You guys, thanks so much for having us over. Well, we're just glad we can have people over again now that that giant crab's gone. Hey, guys, how you doing? Come on in. No, 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 no. Just go around it. He's not going to hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 no. All right, I tried just going under him. I think we should probably just go home. Maybe we'll do it another time. No, 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 no. I can't believe every turkey within a 60-mile radius of Quahog is sold out. I know. Now we're so far from home, none of your stations even work. On the 15 for Coming up in two minutes. This is going to be a really special Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving! We brought chicken wings. Oh, yum! I hope they're the kind with the bone removed. Chris, are Brian and your father back yet? No, and why are you saying the dog's name before Dad's? It's weird. Uh, that is weird. You're right. Well, they better get here soon. I can't host this Thanksgiving dinner on my own. Hey, Aunt Carol. Hey, Uncle Adam. La, 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 la. Don't mention last night's Project Runway. I've got it on TiVo. Happy Thanksgiving. I brought marshmallow peeps. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need that Pyrex dish back. Okay. I'm gonna need it back now. Oh. I don't want anything else today to get as tense as that just got. And with him gone, that makes you the man of the house. I sentence you to death! Chris, Chris, slow down. All right, I'm just saying, without Peter here, you're going to have to be the host of Thanksgiving. You have to do everything the fat man normally would. You mean like fall asleep on the toilet and have a big red ring on my bum for a week? Hi, uh, do you have any turkeys? Sure do. You're looking at one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to know me to know. I'm just joking. Sir, the day we've had, we could use a good chuckle like that. You folks are in luck. Looks like we have one turkey left. Uh, Mom, Daddy, you're right on time. Happy Thanksgiving, dear. We brought some wine, but it's good wine, so it's just for us. Damn it. Where the hell are they with that turkey? Hey, scoot over. As the oldest guy here, it's my duty to take an open mouth nap in the middle of the room. <coughs> Brian, look. An eight-foot basket. Let me just dunk the turkey once. I know I can jam it. That's not a regulation rim. Okay, you know what? I'm in charge of the turkey. You're driving. Ugh, there's nothing worse than grocery shopping on the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's the sound a rich family's turkey makes. There's still a lot more groceries in the car. Well, it's not a race. Take a break. Ugh, if you knew how close we were to putting you down last year. Jeez, what's her problem? Ugh, Thanksgiving's exhausting. <gasps> oh, my God! Coming this winter, actors who don't look familiar in shows you're pretty sure you've never heard of on networks you've definitely never heard of. First, it's The Marriage Man on Gigo Audience Prime Plus. Then, Frenemy on Gold Star. And don't forget the J. Tory Hampton Show on Trax. <laughs> Lump Monkeys on Forge. Comeuppance on LFR America. Tattle Babies on Blitz Kids. And Snapchatters on Perspire. Not now! Not like this! <laughs> <laughs> Peter, what the hell? You chose a turkey over me? I almost died! I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. Who's watching them? Probably no one. Are they comedies or dramas? We're not even sure. Turn your office water cooler into a modern-day Tower of Babel. The Marriage Man! Love Monkeys! Love Monkeys! Love Monkeys! Love Monkeys! Jay Perry! TV. What a mess. Excuse me, can you help us? We're trying to get back to Quahog. If you want, I can take you as far as the bus station. You can? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that is the nicest thing anyone's done for me since my kids gave me that Father's Day gift. Oh, look, a tie. Perfect. Too much candy?
What do you mean, too much candy? There's too much candy. There used to be four candies. Bullseyes, Yahoo's, Sweet Yarn, and cigarettes. Now I go into a store, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Oh, thank God we got on this bus. I really had to poop. Wait, where, where's there a bathroom on this bus? I didn't say there was a bathroom, I just said I had to poop. Oh my God, this is gross, even for a bus! <laughs> Is there anything else? Why don't ball players wear giant woolen shirts anymore? What's wrong with wool? It was a perfect fabric. You go to the ballpark, get your bag of bullseyes, and watch Hack Wilson round the bases in a big wool shirt. I once saw Hack hit a ball out of the infield. I still remember the thud of the bat and the whoosh of the wool. <sighs> I wish things were still heavy. Son, son, I, I told you. Out here in the wilderness, call me Rooster Cogburn. You know, Rooster, I was starting to think you didn't like me anymore. Shh, Chris, look. Tracks. There must be a deer around here. Well, those are snowmobile tracks. Shh, there he is. Ah, oh, such grace. Now oh, the rails are off this thing. All right, Chris, this is where you as host need to step in and... Chris? Chris? What the hell? Are you drunk? <laughs> okay, let's pick teams. I'll be a captain, and, uh, Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. Yeah, because we don't want to make a big mistake, like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Hey, man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire, my urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's not completely true, because I have a group on and I'd hate to waste it. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was the chatty guy. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. Future old people are wizards. Hi there, folks. Hand over the turkey. What? I can't go back to my wife without a turkey. Oh, uh, yeah? Bet that thing's not even loaded. You just used your last bullet. Running on empty now. Brian, give him the turkey. Okay, so here's the game. I'm, I'm drunk, and I'm gonna throw the football too hard at my kids. Oh, Dad, do we have to... Ah! Don't cry. Don't cry, game's over if you cry. Peterson, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be down at your job making oblong bricks out of manure and straw? No, we're off. It's Martin Luther Day. Aha! Yes, that's a very smart joke. Isn't that right, comedy professors? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. well done, indeed. Mm -hmm. Peter, I think you may have had one too many. Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. I work hard to put a cornucopia on this table, and you're out showing your lower ankle to every Tom, Tom, and other Tom in our village. Don't talk to mother in like fashion. That's it. The belt is coming off. God, I love this time of year. It's just past all the amazing colors of fall and before the white of winter. Just brown and gray. Magical. Let's play ball! Yeah, let's play ball. Ow! The world has changed around me, and I'm mad and scared. Damn it, you guys are ruining Thanksgiving. And it's my second favorite holiday, right after pretend not to notice people's race day. Hey, you seen Reggie around? Which one is Reggie? Oh, uh, well, today he's wearing yellow pants, uh, yellow shirt, yellow hat, yellow shoes. Uh, he's got a gold tooth, a uh, diamond earring. Um, he's got that big necklace with a dollar sign on it. We stopped being a team when you framed me for eating that turkey with you. Brian, maybe you should be a little less mad at me and a little more mad at the guys growing mustaches for this month. Hey, don't mock Movember. Last year I raised $8 and got on a BuzzFeed listicle. No! You use real words! Internet stuff is not real words! Uh... He's always grabbing his crotch when he's telling a story, like the one about when he found out his mother is really his grandmother. Could you be more specific? Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, he always wears cheap cologne, uh, drives a Mercury Cougar with a crown on the dashboard, uh, never pays his alimony. Uh, he's extremely cut for a guy who never works out. Oh, there he is. Thanks, anyway. Hey, Reggie! Sorry, can't hear you. Too busy saving our family's Thanksgiving. <sighs> damn it. 
This is idiotic. You're never gonna find a turkey in there. Oh, I'll find one. I mean, you're looking at the guy who found the fountain of youth. It's very far away from here. Okay, everyone. It'll be another hour before the turkey's done, but I made more appetizers. Ooh, grape jelly on a Triscuit. You're a whiz. Whoa, 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 slow down. Save your appetite. I don't think I haven't noticed you've already had two drinks. You're like all the worst parts of a girlfriend. Chow time, boys! Yes, sir! Sergeant Major General Captain! Ah, come on, boys. It's Thanksgiving. Call me Major General Captain. Now you eat up! Hey, buddy. You want to come to my house so my wife can cook you wrong? This is nice. This is very nice. The time that we're spending together right now. Easy, Joe. Uh, sorry. Just making mental memories for when you're all inevitably dead and I'm left alone. Jeez, Quagmire, help me out with this. Ah, <sighs> it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. I welcome your arrival because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hey, 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 get out of here. Hey, he was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Damn it. Peter, this is never going to work. All right, just leave the turkey alone. The poor thing is... Ah, ah, what the hell? Knock it off. Ow, damn it, I'm going to kill you, you dick. Oh, but Brian is getting away. Okay, everyone, it's 2.30. Time for dinner. Because on Thanksgiving, 2.30 is dinner time for some reason. I told you this is stupid. There's nothing good in here. Hey, look, a pair of working legs. Dibs on these. What? Oh, come on, Quagmire. Joe, I said dibs. No, no, you're right. You said dibs. <laughs> He's not in here. Oh, crap. Easy there. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. Shouldn't you be in Detroit losing a football game right now? It will lead me like the shorebird that led the first pilgrims to Boston. Ahoy! Are you looking to build a city where sports fans can be notoriously racist? Yeah, and can we also ruin Sweet Caroline for everyone else? Absolutely! Oh, this looks fantastic. I can't wait to poop this out. Hey, who's gonna get the Thanksgiving dump trophy this year? You are! Dad's gonna get it! Who else? <laughs> <laughs> Loving. Loving family. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna be a problem, but we forgot to bring the letter R. No problem at all. Right this way, large-faced whites. Let's go Red Sox! Let's go Red Sox! Look, guys, I'm not a hero, and I don't want to be treated any different than before. Just that you would say that means we should treat you different. Come on, guys, let's give them all our best food. Okay, now you eat up, and then we're all gonna go out back and play some Thanksgiving touch football. Excuse me. War hero Thanksgiving touch football. Yeah! USA! I didn't even know there was a war. We've come this far. Let's do it right. Hey, you got a tiny head and a big body. What if I switch that? Gotcha! All right, we did it! We got ourselves a turkey. This food is so Good, Lois. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, that move is badass. You're awesome. Know what else is awesome? The stuffing. Thank you, Glenn. You're welcome. I'm in a good mood. Meanwhile, Griffin Peterson and the other exiles pass the time on the ship to the New World. Ah, oh, crap. A splinter. Well, it's been nice knowing you guys. Hey, fellas, you want to join me in a game of Mumble Peg? Oh, no, thanks. Fine, I'll play by myself. One nothing. <laughs> and then so I'm like, Peter, how was I supposed to know you didn't want your teammates to know you wore a bra? <laughs> <laughs> it was a custom designed sports halter top. More stories, more stories. Hey, tell one where Peter is a nincompoop, or maybe a silly Billy. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to build a new settlement. We'll have a happy new life, and we'll have equal rights for all. Except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims. Um, everybody who's not a white man. And I mean white, white. So no Italians, no Polish. Just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, <sighs> America. Okay, let's just carve the turkey. Oh, and Karen already carved it. She did? 
But that's my thing. I always do my are you a leg man or a breast man joke. And Karen did that too. It was hilarious. I never really got it until she said it. <laughs> I faked my death and went AWOL. <gasps> I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. You know what's crazy about this time of year? Everything is pumpkin spice. We all follow your Twitter feed, Joe. God, Thanksgiving is such a pain in the ass. I hate hosting. I hear you, Peter. I hate Thanksgiving, too. Bonnie's sister is married to a real show-off. Denise, Wendell, it's great to see you. Wendell. Joseph? It's just Joe. I think you know that. If anyone has wanted whipped cream on their pie, it's not my fault. I can't get a word in edgewise around here. Oh my god, where the hell have you been? And what are you doing with a live turkey? A live turkey who loves rollerblading? Our dog drew that. Da! Da! Wow, I... I... I read that look wrong. You know, there's still some pumpkin pie left, everyone. That sounds good to me. Me too. Hey. Happy Thanksgiving to us all, huh? Wait! That man's an imposter. I'm the real Kevin Swanson. Guys, I don't think we have time for this. Our Thanksgiving's also a nightmare. Donna's cousins are two-thirds of Tony, Tony, Tony. Which ones? The E and the I. Ah, oh, no Tony with a Y. That is correct. We lack the Alpha Tony. Come on, there's gotta be a way you'll let me in the gang without shivin' Cleveland. Oh, oh, I got an idea. There was this prison movie, and, and there was this guy who wanted to win over the other prisoners, and you know what he did? He ate seven eggs. It was amazing. So you bring me seven or some other reasonable amount of eggs. Peter, I know it's 50 eggs. Ah, you're a film buff. Yeah. Before this, I was in the USC director's program. Well, at least you guys celebrate with your families. Last year, I spent Thanksgiving with my old blow-up sex dolls. Here you go, Carla. See, we can do other things together. How's the turkey? I made it myself. I'll put a pot of coffee on. Janet, coffee? Carla, coffee? Dina, coffee? Sasha, coffee? Dad, coffee? I wish I had given you more siblings, Glenn. Well, kids, happy Thanksgiving. I wish Dad was here. Meg, could you zip up your fly? That, that's kind of wafting over here. Peter, what are you doing here? Well, me and Quagmire kind of had a falling out. And after that, I, I realized that... Meg, can you please stop stuffing your face for two seconds? <laughs> Come on, Peter, it's him or you. And and he's not so great. Don't forget, he's the one who told you all those schoolhouse rock spoilers. I had no idea that Bill would become a law. Ah! Sorry, Peter. My gang said I wasn't really loco unless I shivved someone, and you're the one guy without gang protection, so... Griffin Peterson and the other colonists worked day and night to build their new settlement until finally, after much hard work, the colony of Quahog was complete. Quagmire, I feel kind of bad leaving the family like this with Thanksgiving coming up. I mean, if I'm not dead, who's gonna carve the turkey? I don't understand! And so Lady Red Bush sailed off to the New World to find her beloved. And the timing was good because his new wife was a pain in him ass. And then I finished scrubbing the kettle, but... Then I saw that I'd missed a spot, and oh, I was so worried that the whole thing wasn't clean enough. So I went back and started washing it again, and sure enough, I'd missed another spot. And there was a clump of cornmeal under the rim from when I made breakfast. Shut up, Meg. I prithee shut up. Ah! Sorry, Quagmire. As a not cop, I have to shiv a guy in the Latin gang and then blame it on Cleveland. Ah! Oh! Oh! No one made me do this. I'm just sick of your overt racism. Guys, guys, stop. Stop. Look at us. We're shiving each other on Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, no one shivved Cleveland. Ah! Hey, Meg, Thanksgiving's over. Come help me with the Christmas decorations. Meg, help me with the Christmas decorations! <gasps> Leafers! Holy crap, we gotta get out of here. You see, my wife thinks I'm an idiot. She's always making me feel small and insignificant, like John Goodman's heartbeat. Honey, my inside left boob stomach did that thing again. You mean your heart? 
Um, I don't know about any of that, but I think I should eat something. Too late! Yo, Matty, check out those colors. Yellow like a taxi, orange like the ball at the Knicks game, and red like the sauce on my Mamma Mia's gugots. We now return to the outlaw Josie Wales. Should we bury him? Nah, leave him for the buzzards. I like that guy. Oh boy, here comes Harry. He thinks no one will notice he got his neck done. Hey, fellas, I'm back from that family wedding. Ugh. Tonight's top story, Quahog is infested with loud, hairy creatures also known as New Yorkers. They migrate north every autumn to see the foliage. And I think I speak for all of us when I say that New York and everyone from there can fornicate themselves with an iron stick. Hold it, Meg. Those two are mine. What? That's Randy, and that's Fred. Randy is the messy one. Fred's very neat. And when you get them together, hoo-hoo, hold on to your sides. Nice to meet you both. <gasps> Murderer! Jeez, Lois, look at the garbage those damn leafers dumped on our lawn. New York Post, New York Magazine, the New York Mets. Huh, we're gonna be late for church. Move it! Damn leafers. Chris, quit it! Mom, Chris put his foot on my side again. I can't help it. I have these long dancer's legs. What the hell? If anyone should be her helper, it should be me. She's my mother. We're supposed to be a team, like the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Well, Tonto, the bad guys are going to jail. Looks like this little town is safe again. Yes, Kimosabi. So, uh, what do you say? Wanna grab a drink? Maybe dinner? Sorry, me no like to hang with work people. Move it! Meg, stop your whining. Chris, stay on your own side. Lois, for God's sake, get off your ass and do some parenting. If you kids don't knock it off, we're not going to McDonald's after church. Mom! Mom. Don't worry, we're going. But, but, but you don't get to supersize. Oh! Okay, you can supersize, but no apple pie. Oh, come on! Okay, you get an apple pie, but you can't blow on it. They've been the most elite family in this country ever since it was founded. They were the ones who invented the buckle on the hat. Hey, I like your zipper hat. I like your zipper hat. Morning, fellas. Oh, that's gonna be a game changer. Oh, man, this hologram thing is the best idea since the Mayflower hired a cruise director. Okay, everyone. From 8 until 9, we'll be trembling before our angry god. From 9 to 10, there's yellow fever on the Lido deck. And at 10, it's everybody's favorite, buckle hat bingo. What if we lost our buckle hat? Well, do you have a plain hat? Yeah. Do you have a belt? Yeah. You got a buckle hat. <gasps> I just love knowing what's going on. Let's get this show on the road. After all, it's not called Bing Stop, it's called Bing Go. <laughs> <laughs> That's very clever. Yeah, and uh, uh, maybe if I win, I'll yell Bing Joe. Don't force it, Joe. Yeah, be quiet, Joe. Me and the gang are trying to hear our numbers. You and the gang? I'm the one who brought you here. Yeah, well, you know something? The Mayflower also brought fungus, which then became the potato famine. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I've had like four insures. I'm out of my mind. We now return to Turner Classic Movies' presentation of John Wayne's final western, Big Bill Doyle. John Wayne only ate beef and coffee for every meal, so the director had to shoot around the fact that he was on the toilet all the time. Big Bill, two men got off the 240 from Amarillo. Saddle my horse. <laughs> Reach for the sky, pilgrims. <coughs> big Bill Doyle. That's right. And I just made a Big Bill coil. What? Wait a second. Could that be Harriet Tubman's secret underground railroad? <gasps> it is. Go, Freedom Train, go. I've seen enough. I happen to know that nothing of historical significance ever occurred here. Please, have our money ready by tomorrow. Good day. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Look, this is where the pilgrims landed at Fraggle Rock. What is this, Lois? It's jambalaya. It's a new recipe. Mm. Mm -mm. Hey, da. Mm. Eat your food, mister. Mm. Mm. All right, if you don't want it, put it in your napkin. Mm. Peter, mm. put it in your napkin. Mm. Put it in your napkin. Mm. I'm mm. not gonna... Mm. Mm. <sighs> you know, some people would be very happy to have this food, like John Goodman's family. Peter, Quagmire, I've called you here today because this has got to stop. The petty vine for my attention, the late-night phone calls, the attack ads. Glenn Quagmire claims to be Joe Swanson's good friend. But would a good friend not return a leaf blower for four months during the leafy season? I'm Peter Griffin, and I broke into a news station to make this. Hey, who's that guy? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Please, Daddy. I told you, when I'm finished, you can have what's left. There won't be any left. There's never any left. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Finally, I'm above the law, like my 14th century ancestor, King of Denmark, Griffin. More wine, more women, more table. <laughs> so, did you guys know that Marilyn's real name was Norma Jean? <sighs> mm-hmm. And if you said hello to Bernard Schwartz, you'd be saying... Saying hello to Tony Curtis. Yes, we know. Better smile when you say that, pilgrim. Marion Morrison, a.k.a. John Wayne. Yep, we remember from the list you emailed us, Joe. You know, Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln, and Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy. Kind of makes you think, huh? a heart attack. Is anyone at the table a doctor? I am. Come here, hurry, run! But the very far away doctor couldn't make it in time, and that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem, performed this afternoon by Peter Griffin and his dirt bike. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>